Here is another look at the Great American Eclipse. This is some drone video from Paris, Texas, as the sky really began to darken there. Th I, yeah. These do not get old. This it's is wild. so cool. Yeah, they hit yeah. totality at around 2.30 Eastern time. Oh, very cool to see. Meantime, let's get back to meteorologist Caitlin McGrath. She is in Erie, Pennsylvania, where they also experienced that solar eclipse. She's in the path of totality. Caitlin, I mean, are you still on that eclipse high? It was such a <laughs> such a thing to behold. <laughs> It really was, you guys. I mean, the eclipse itself, just incredible. But I also can't believe how quickly folks cleared out of here. There were hundreds of people here watching the eclipse together, and within minutes, they all fled, just like the end of a big sporting event. So we are really just like relishing uh, what was an incredible experience. We fell into complete darkness here in the path of totality, just watching that shadow come across the horizon and then kind of see the sun rise again. And you know what? I've got to give all the credit in the world to Mother Nature because this morning it was raining. We were socked in clouds until three minutes before the partial phases began here in Erie, but it ended up being just a spectacular event. Instead of trying to tell you about it, why don't you check it out yourself? Just that moment of cheering everyone looking up at the sky in the very same moment, embracing what is just a rare celestial event was truly so incredible. And I loved talking to everyone out here today. Everyone just in a great mood. So thankful the weather held out. And you know what? I met a lot of great folks from right in the DMV, Maryland, Virginia, DC. Everyone made the trip here to Erie and I met two women, one from Prince George's County, one from Loudoun County who didn't know each other but became fast friends. It's magical. It was magical. It's magic. Okay, I say this. We didn't see it. We experienced it and it's something that pictures don't do justice. It's it's amazing. It's marvelous and I thank Erie here. Beautifully done. And it was weird because all of a sudden it got dark and cold yes. and we just were like, wow, and you didn't know whether to stay quiet and watch or to scream and I think just the yeah. excitement of being here was just fantastic. They told me they exchanged numbers. They're going to go eclipse chasing together. It was really just so neat to see everyone come together and enjoy this moment together. Okay, I got to say, Caitlin, back in 2017, you were already looking forward to this eclipse. Really? So did, did this one meet your expectations? <laughs> Oh my gosh, it exceeded it. I mean, 2017 was just incredible to me. And that was a partial eclipse. And everyone I spoke to leading up to today said totality is different. Totality is different. It's a full atmospheric change. It gets colder. You hear the birds chirping and it sounded great. And then I experienced it and it is truly beyond what I can put into words. All I can do is encourage everyone to try and make a trip in life to see it. We know it's not going to be until 2045 when we see another cross country eclipse like this here in the US, but there are eclipses every year. You just got to travel to it to experience it. I vote. How, what do you think? 2044, 2045. You said we'll go to Montana. That's <laughs> we'll what you're do, doing. We'll do this all over again. Yeah. All right. That sounds fun. Caitlin, hey thank guys, you. How are guys, you? I'm putting it out there in 20. All right, let's head over and check in with Eric Flack. He's at Colvin Run Elementary School in Fairfax County, Virginia. Uh, Flack, I know you've been talking with faculty, students. Everyone's just been enjoying this eclipse energy. What was it like out there? Oh, there was great energy here, too. I mean, the students were excited. The faculty was excited. The school actually estimates that the students who watched and experienced this eclipse here in Vienna experienced it at about 90% coverage of the sun. I think it is absolutely amazing. I feel like I'm so lucky to be able to see a 90% totality eclipse and when, I am, when I'm so young. And was it what you expected or was it different? I I don't know what I expected, but it's definitely been a amazing amazing sight. It's not exactly what I expected. I expected like it's kind of foggy like in the glasses and you can't really see it. You can only see the outline, but it's super crisp and clear. What is the part that you didn't expect? Um that that um it would it wouldn't it for it to take 
So um, a little bit too long. It took a long time, didn't it? Did you keep on checking back? What was that like? Um, it was like, it was like when 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 you keep wanting M and M's and you can't get it. Evelyn, for the win with the analogy, it's like you keep wanting M&Ms and you can't get it as they waited for, you know, as much of this uh, eclipse as they were going to see. Of course, all the students had those, you know, special glasses. They also all made these kind of pinhole uh, uh, viewfinders. Uh, everybody kind of just blowing bubbles, having a real field party out here. It was really an event as they kind of had a, a uh, eclipse party out here at Colvin Run Elementary School in Fairfax County. Back to you. I feel her. I felt like it did take a while. We kept looking up yeah. and looking down. And like, and looking okay, up. some progress. Did you get yeah. Evelyn some M&Ms after that one flat? Come on. <laughs> I, I, well, I, well, now you mention it, she's gone. It's too late. Uh, Where were you an hour ago, So I, I love these explanations God. today, though. Now babe. I feel so bad. No, no. it's okay. It's okay. Hey, Evelyn she's forgives a, you. She's I a forgive TV you. She's a TV star. She's, <laughs> yeah. she's made for TV. She was great. And she will not forget this moment for sure. She was great. They all were great. We'll have more, we'll have more of those kids, different kids at 530. They were all great, as, <laughs> as well as some of those kindergartners, too. Okay. okay. Looking right. forward to Thank it. Thank you, Fleck. All right, we'll see you back here in just a bit. All right, so by the way, the next total solar eclipse across the U.S. won't happen again for more than 20 years. So there's going to be uh, an eclipse in 2044, but let me tell you about the one happening in 2045, much like 2017. That's going to start in California and move east hmm. to end in Florida. So our region, we're not going to be in the path of totality. Our area will experience a partial eclipse with the moon blocking about 60 to 70 percent of the moon. So. Uh, the sun, so it's not going to be as great as uh, as this time. Some of the major cities that will be in the path of totality in 2045: you have Reno, Nevada, Colorado Springs, Colorado, Tulsa, Oklahoma, and Orlando, Florida.